All right, I'm going to try to finish this thing here. All right. Okay. <sighs> Cotton looked down as Borg-like robots walked about, then said, I find your actions and thoughts evil and tedious. I find them vacant and meaningless. There is nothing uplifting nor beneficial about you. Nothing. Yes, said Newton. I feel the Pope coming into him now. Co uh, Jibril looked angrily, looked angrily, looked angry, and said, showing his teeth at Cotton Muhammad, "You're talking to Jibril and Allah. I'm the all-knowing, the wise. You know that." Cotton ignored the threatening tone of his maker and said, "You're not all wise, and you certainly are not all-knowing. For if." If you were the latter, why should you bother to test your followers? It is illogical to test when you claim to know the outcome. Stunned, Jibril responded back in a way that sounded desperate, shouting, It's the same reason why I call myself we. The same reason why I use the royal plural in, in the Quran. It, it's due to my showing respect to myself, the way human kings use the royal plural to, to show respect uh, to themselves uh, when they call themselves we. Illogical, said Cotton in a computerized monotone. Why should a god as you, who hates Shirk more than anything, deign to lower himself to emulate schizophrenic pronouncements of human royalty? You are not only full of the non sequitur, you are nothing but pure evil. Jibble's eyes lit up with fury. As Newton, crew, Newton and crew became more alive over what they were hearing, Cotton went on and said, By what you have handed down to me in clear signs will although you have straight, straightened me out in the ways of science I, I see that most of what you have given me still comes off as the writings of a petulant evil child with no love or concern for its, innoc for its innocent human creation but the complete and utter threat to all that is decent pure and beautiful I see that all now I see it clearly and I feel you need to be destroyed. Yes, shouted Newton. Yes, he sh yes, he shouted again as his enemy stood up on the bridge of his ship, hissing in with incredible hate and wrath toward his messenger. Sergeant Storm shouted out, He's evolved beyond the stage of liberal progressive, Newton. Finally, he can now see evil for what it truly is. With fury, Jibril kicked over his throne, punched a hole in the side of the, his ship, slowly turned to Cotton, showing a row of, of gritted, grinding teeth, and hissed to his messenger, so what you are going, so what are you going to do about it, my bulgy-headed slave dunce? I can pop your head with a poke of my finger before you can get any more lightning bolts out of your hands. I can do that even if you do get any of your lightning bolts off. I can go back in time with the ship and pick another Arab to be my trigger for Borgs and Islam. Perhaps I'll pick Aisha. She's so da she's damn cute for one thing. No wonder you diddled her when she was nine. With fury, caught through the mutant a look of great anger himself. Suddenly the black mutant went flying at the wall, stunning all who saw it. Jibril tried to charge at Cotton, but became caught in a telekinetic thought of the mutant he created. With one easy thought, Cotton tossed Jibril over control panel, then tossed.